Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, this is the second Daily Bits of the year. I, I can't believe that we've made it to another year, um, especially with the Daily Bits. Like, it's still going, even though, you know, there's many times I could have quit, but I'm still going, still going strong. Um, you know, I, I keep on thinking to myself, I'm like, well, once we get to 365 of these, I'll be a full year of the daily bits. Uh, not to mention we just started losing bits, um, which tomorrow you guys will be quite surprised with the outcome of just being uh, sick for a week with COVID, what that will do to you uh, and your diet. Even though I was eating like crap, um, I still lost a lot of weight. Um, so hooray for that. Um but I did want to talk about something that's coming up um, that I want to get into, and I keep on mentioning it, uh, like it's something is set in stone that um, I hope to God it happens. If it does happen, hooray. Um, so I, I apply for a position. There's four of them. Uh, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. So almost my entire life I've always wanted to be a part of the video game industry um, in one form or the other. Uh, I started my channel over a decade ago covering video games, uh, movies, pop culture stuff. Uh, I've been a gamer my entire life. Uh, I know some people's gonna scoff at that like you can totally do other things with your life except for playing video games. Um, video games put me in a happy spot, right? Video games has always been a pleasure to me. Um, it's a place for me to unwind, uh, escape from the real world, even though sometimes we need to stay in the real world to face real world things. Sometimes it's good to just escape. Um, you know, when, where, when can you say that, Hey, I was a blue cat person, uh, going base to base with bows and arrows, destroying mechs. Uh, you can't say you're doing that in real life, but Damn, you can say it when you're playing video games. Uh, I've been playing Avatar, um, the new Avatar game, which is basically Far Cry with blue cat people. It's pretty good, though, I mean, if, if you're into that. We'll talk about that after I finish it. Almost done with it. Um, but anyways, I applied for four positions. Um, and I, I kind of want to make this a, um, a statement to what would happen if I get this opportunity. So there's four positions uh, for game streaming. First, being a full-time streamer. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you don't have enough views. Or you don't have enough people to watch your stuff. Um, I know that. I understand that. Uh, for many, many years, I've always wanted to have a big audience. I've always wanted to play video games live. I always wanted to go to conventions. I've always wanted to share my passion with other people. Uh, talk about things that I truly care about. Uh, not saying that I don't care about everything else we talk about, but I do care a lot about video games just because, like I said, they make me happy. Uh, somebody that suffers from mental health issues, uh, video games has always been there basically for me. Kind of an outlet. Some people will be like, oh, well, I drink alcohol. Well, I do heroin. Uh, don't do either one of those if you can't help it. Don't do that. And if you are doing that, seek help, please. Please, God. Uh, especially any type of mental health issue. Um, sometimes it's good to find a an escape. Um, some people find it in movies, books, uh, YouTube videos. I found it in video games, uh, live streaming, uh, hanging out with my wife. Um, just this escape from the mundane. Because let's just face it, the world's not really that great right now. we got a lot of problems uh, we're facing right now. Uh, from Every every facet of life it just seems to be attacking us one way or the other. Um, but I so badly want this chance to um, break into this and be a full time streamer, doing something I truly, truly enjoy enjoy very much, very passionate about. Um, you know, I, I spent every year waiting for E three to come on. Uh, you know, it's a Super Bowl uh, event for video games. And I said it about the VGAs, which is basically it now. The VGAs is, is but E3 used to be that big event. Um, you know, I would cover it. So, you know, 
I'm a walking video game encyclopedia. I know more about the video game industry than I do about politics, which I don't really give a damn. I used to be political there for a while, but I, I don't really care anymore. Uh, it's all poisonous to me. It's all poison. Um, but video games has always been a constant to me. Like, uh, you know, I just hooked, we just hooked up PlayStation 2. First time I've seen a PlayStation 2 in action in years. Uh, I started collecting games again. Um, you know, I'm no longer collecting Pokemon games. Uh, well, Pokemon cards. Uh, I started collecting video games a little bit cheaper. Um, and there's actually an end to it after, you know, well, when you complete your old collection, it's over. I only have a set, few set titles that I want to get from back in the day. Um, everything else I get digitally. Uh, but there's some things I do want to pick up from, like, back in the day that you just can't get anymore. Uh, I'm not... Uh, the farthest I'm going to go is probably PlayStation 2, um, give or take. Um, probably some couple PS3 games and something else, but uh, I'm not going to get deep into it. I used to go down that rabbit hole, and I'm not doing it, because one thing I don't really care too much about physical media, it, uh, even though if you came to my house and you looked at my Switch collection, you'd probably be like, holy shit. Uh, you sure do have a lot of physical Switch games. <laughs> I, I do. Um, but I, I, I love the industry. I love everything about it. I'm, I'm always caught up on the uh, inside and out. I, I know about the layoffs. I know about the newest titles. I know about the crappiest titles. I know Game of the Year announcements. I, I can guess them. I, I play every big game that comes out. I try to, even though right now my backlog is just ginormous. Uh, you know, I have all the consoles. I, I build a, a PC, a beast-ass PC, uh, specifically for gaming, which I don't get to do that often on my PC. Um, even though, you know, I'm rocking a 3090 Ti, which, you know, some people be like, ah, it's weak. It's not weak. It's, it's definitely not weak. Um, you know, I know the, 30, the 4090 is out now, but uh, 3090 Ti is still a pretty good card. Um, yeah, but... You know, I got my Steam Deck. Uh, I, I even occasionally play some mobile games. Uh, Pokemon Go. That's about it. I don't. I don't like mobile games very much. Um, you know, I I know all the big controversies. I know uh, pretty much everything I can get my hands on when it comes to gaming. Like I'm attached to gaming announcements. Uh, um, the, the, the directs, like the Nintendo direct, like the Xbox showcases, PlayStation, uh, it's not called Play, PlayStation now, Play, it's not called PlayStation Direct either, what's it called now? It's got a name, I forgot it because my mind is just groggy, but I had this opportunity to apply for these four positions, and by the grace of God, I would love so badly to have a chance to prove myself and become a full-time streamer um and do the things i love and, and show the things i enjoy um it, it would just be so amazing so amazing uh i know with that chance it gives me a chance to uh do other things within the industry i i know that does i know i'm not going to be like dr disrespect or anything like that um, but the, the position is what it is. And like I said, I don't know. Uh, I, I applied for all four of them. Um, it's, uh, through some stuff. I, I don't want to give out where I applied to anything like that. And I know the, uh, competition is fierce. There's a lot of people online. It's going to be like, well, this guy's younger and hip and cool and knows all about Fortnite, which I play Fortnite. Come on, I play Fortnite. I play Fortnite. I play Fortnite. I'm I'm 36 years old. My name's Derek, and I play Fortnite. I've got a problem. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, I I so God, God just be amazing. Uh, I I've been doing this forever. Been doing this for so long. Um, you know, I I venture out and I um did something a little bit different with the channel, a little bit more controversial. Uh, I started going to a, a political ter direction uh, because of the people I was following there for a while. And it was cringy, uh, to say the least. And this was before, this was like going into the Pokemon and 
after Pokemon and, and all that stuff, it, you can take a look at my channel and see the evolution of it. Uh, the ultimate outcome will be just a chance to actually uh, be a gamer, have fun, enjoy my passion, share my passion, and just live a dream. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to make me rich and famous, but... That's not the point. The point is, I just want to be a part of the gaming industry one way or the other. Uh, I, I would love that. That would be fantastic. It would be a dream come true. Um, so hopefully I got a chance. I, I've been waiting to talk about it, but it's the new year, and I wanted to bring attention to it because it's been on my mind ever since I applied for these positions. Um, I don't know what chance I have. I know there's thousands of people, millions of people that would give their, they they would kill for it. Let's just say that. I'm not saying I'm going to kill, kill for it because I just maybe on Fortnite or Minecraft. <laughs> um, but I do want to entertain people. I remember when I was in uh, high school, like one of the things like somebody always says, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And like one of the things is like, man, I want to travel all the world and just be funny and make people laugh and entertain people. I, I, I don't I don't think I'm completely entertaining. I try to be as entertaining as I can. Um, you know, you can take a look at my YouTube Twitch Pass and Kick Kick and Mixer, uh, TikTok. You're probably thinking, oh, this is a cringy fat guy on the internet. I'm fixing that. I'm fixing that, by the way. I'm fixing that. I, I am fixing that. You'll see tomorrow. I, you'll see tomorrow. Losing bits. 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. Um, but it just, you know, I, I hope I have a chance. I hope, ch ha I, hope I have a chance. Um, so if you wouldn't care, um, thoughts, prayers, vibes, um, throw them my way. Um, uh, this neck beard. <laughs> Make this big, fat, neck-bearded dude's life dream come true. Um, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. Um, doing something I absolutely love. Um, but until then, guys, feel free. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.